the winter's not going to be very long actually, we're talking about two months that uh, we have downtime where we're getting ready for the new season, uh, which of course has a lot to do with getting a crop plan ready. And um, from that crop plan we're creating a seeding schedule, a planting schedule. Um, out of that crop plan we know what kind of supplies we're going to be needing. So there's a lot of office work that needs to be done. Um, also the crew will be going out around the fields and uh, cut back limbs around the field, trees that have blown over. Uh, this is a time when you are able to um, do some, some cutting um, and the ground is frozen, it's easy to get there uh, with a truck and your chainsaw. Um, of course, you know, the forest always want to grow back into the field. This is a time when we can actually do some clearing, especially under the power lines that are coming into the farm. Of course, there's always maintenance of equipment to be done. We have a very large shop on the farm here and uh, we are able to make all the repairs needed. So when the spring starts, um, those equipment will not break down the first day of operation. Given that the crew is ra rather slim over the winter that holds the fort, so to speak, um, we're actually quite busy and we're always surprised ourselves how busy we are in the end. So by February we'll already start the greenhouses back up again to start getting ready for the new season. We start off with the onions, we'll start off with some uh, things like uh, celeriac, things that take, that to take a very long time to grow. Then the second in line are things like peppers, uh, eggplant and then the tomatoes, uh, some lettuces, kohlrabi, early cabbages, broccoli. So, um, and then very quickly the greenhouse will fill up. And then we want to be out in the field, by, if possible, by, by March 15th. We want to already be out planting. Um, but, you know, it uh, usually becomes April 1st. It really depends on the moisture, depends on how quickly the frost is out of the ground.